स्टूडेंट्स आवर टूडेज टॉपिक विल बी ऑन एलजेब्रा दिस विल बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड वेरी अमेजिंग टॉपिक एंड आई होप दैट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड जॉयफुल एंड आई ऑल्सो होप दैट यू हैव अंडरस्टूड एवरीथिंग that i taught you in my previous sessions so student today we shall talk on the basic concept of algebra because algebra is a very important part of our life as i have told you that mathematics is the real life and real life is the mathematics and we follow this concept in our daily life so that algebra also has its specific application in the daily life problem means with the help of algebra we solve various question which are based on only the possibilities the problems that are based on the possibilities are solved with the help of algebra so that algebra has a large scope in the various sector of the life so let's start about the algebra without any other more discussion so first of all i would like to tell you a little introduction of the history of algebra means how did the world <coughs> sorry how did the world algebra come in the existence okay so that if we talk its history then the word algebra is came from a book from an arabian book algebra wa al al mubdalla arabian book arabian book this is an arabian book algebra wa al al muballa from this book the word algebra has been taken as algebra okay and here we discuss this algebra as branch of mathematics algebra okay so that algebra is a branch of mathematics in which we deal the mathematical quantities some of them having fixed values fixed values and some having no fixed values in other ways we can also say that algebra is a branch of mathematics in which we study about constants and variables and their application okay 
so algebra is the branch of mathematics in which we study about some mathematical quantities in which some of them have a fixed value and some having no fixed value in other ways we can also say that algebra is a branch of mathematics in which we study about constant and variables as well as their applications so the word algebra has been taken from an arabian book algebar ba al almuzalla which means that possibilities which means that a book of possibilities and from that book the word algebra has been taken and here we is study the algebra as a subject so <clears throat> in order to define the algebra we say that algebra is a branch of mathematics algebra is a branch of is a branch of mathematics in which uh, we can write which deals us about constant and variables constant and variables so this is the definition of algebra and now here we have some new words like constant and variable so now let us see about the constant and variable here in the definition the word constant and variable has been taken that means it is not that these are entirely new word no we have already know about this constant and variable in the various subject like science sst and in other subject also but in the mathematics they have the same definition but their example may quite different so let us see what is the constant and variable regarding with algebra constants <coughs> those quantities which have fixed value those quantities which have fixed value or fixed numerical fixed numerical values are called constant okay they are known as constant those mathematical quantities having fixed value or fixed numerical value is called constant if i write 2 3 4 these are all constant because we know that the value of 2 with any number for any operation will be constant as i am 3 in 2 we know that this will be equal to 5 if we add 3 into it always give us 5 which means that the value of 2 will always constant okay students similarly if we multiply 2 by 3 it will give us 
which is also fixed for the multiplication with 3 is 6. So we can say that all numerals, all the numerals are known as constant. That is why all the numerals are the constant. Okay? In the word, you can say that the quantities which have fixed value is called constant. The quantities having the fixed value called constant. Now the next is variables. <coughs> variables. In the other hand, the variables are those quantities which have no fixed value or which have unknown value, then such quantities are known as variable. Okay? Quantities having no fixed value no fixed value or unknown value is called variable The word variable means the value of that quantity will vary. The meaning the word variable represents that the value of that quantity will vary according as problem. Okay? Just suppose that if we have taken, first of all, let me explain how we represent, how we denote the variables. The all variables are represented by the letter of English alphabet. Letter of English Alphabets. Okay, the variables are represented by letters of English alphabet like A, B, C, or you can write X, Y, Z. Sometimes you can also write in the capital letter A, B, C, etc. So, these are called variable and we represent the variable like this. Now, let us see why we denote the variable by these letter of English alphabet. We can represent the variable by any symbol, but we have, we must have the concept that that symbol have no fixed value which means that just suppose if x be a variable if x be a variable then it may acquire any value according to the problem okay you can suppose x is equal to 2 you can suppose x is equal to 2.5 you can suppose that x is equal to 3 upon 5 etc so here the value of x is unknown that means it may be changed according as the problem which means that the value of this x is not 
faith. Hence, it is called valuable. Okay, students. I hope it is clear to everyone. We shall discuss more about algebra in our next session. So keep watching and be happy. We shall meet in the next video. Till then, goodbye.